Here's Ignatius Flashus' house. Um... What? Welcome to the robot arena. <laughs> that is not something I expected to hear in Morrowind. Welcome to the robot arena. Just in a basement of a man's house. Hello, Ignatius Flashus. Hello there, Red Guard. I imagine you come to see the battles of the robot arena. Sorry to inform you there won't be any battles for some time, unless you think you can help me repair my bots. That sounds like a quest for an adventurer. He was able to re reanimate several war bots from the Dwemer ruins. Oh, that is hilarious. Okay, they're in need of new parts. I would love to do that. If you could bring me ten pieces of Dwemer scrap metal. That is something I can certainly do for you, buddy. I can certainly do. What a hilarious concept. You've probably got some great stuff to steal, but you're watching me, and that's fine. I found a vacant manor, which can't possibly be as uninteresting as it sounds. And down here, there's a dude. There's a bunch of dudes. There's a dude, two dudes and a lady, and then maybe a dude that looks like a lady. Who are you, Dover Oren? You have no business being here. I don't recall inviting you. Can I persuade you to let me have business? I'm just curious. Hey, buddy. We're friends here, right? Yeah. At second glance, perhaps I shouldn't be so dismissive. I love that. You seem rather resourceful. Uh, we're investing in the future, you see. The city right now exists under a blanket of fear. A blind guard can see attention between the Imperials and the Temple will soon be boiling over. What happens is going to be every Red Guard for himself. We're stockpiling for that occasion. Maybe you can assist us. What do they need? What do they need? We know full well what we need. We know we can't do it until the time is right. Our actions will be misinterpreted. Okay, great. So, s fat cats like Sosin, walking around in broad daylight. I'm sure you noticed him strutting around as if he were Lord Vivek himself. Of course, no one mentions the horrible things he's done to get to where he is. And for what? He's just a noble. Something Mornhold has no use for. But the tools he's used to step on others and get where he is, those Mornhold has use for. <clears throat> tools? I can get tools. What do you need? Uh, bring his sword and his curious. You'll likely find him wasting time at the bar. Interesting. Okay. Wasting time at that bar? That's the least specific thing you could say. Like another group of people who don't, don't talk to me, talk to the boss. Wow. All right. Well... The winged guar. Okay, I was. I've been there. I can go back there again. Does wait? I have to kill him, don't I? <clears throat> I will have to kill him, which he assures me is the right thing to do. Well, if you say so, I guess I'll do it. It is pretty hilarious to me that I'm just like, sure, I'll murder someone for you based on your word. I don't need to think any harder than that. All right, who is it? Sosin. He's very busy and he doesn't have time to talk. Well, I'm gonna save it right before I murder you. Oh, I probably... I can't persuade him, though. Can I... Let's see. I can try to, like, pick his pocket and get him to attack me. He's got nothing to steal. I don't like just murdering people... Just straight up. Hey, dude, can I... Yeah, because then you get, um... You get a bounty. I don't want a bounty. The name. Shells the game. Huh. You, speak with me? you have all these things to talk about. Why won't you let me say them? Hmm. Let's just do it and see what happens. My crime has been reported. Alright, now maybe if I... I had the idea... Then maybe if I run back there without getting caught, they have- they probably don't have the power to clear my- my name, but you never know. Okay, his sword. Socian's short sword. Socian's curious. Those are great gear. Alright, now let's have a run. Oh, she's attacking me. Oh, I murdered more people in her bar. Alright, let me see if I can have a run back to where I- Back to the vacant manor before I get caught by the police. If they can do anything about it, or if I'm gonna have to deal with this bounty. A comrade in arms, our ally in the fight for freedom. He is dead. Here are the items. 
Now these tools can be put to freeing Mornhold from the yoke of the oppressor. That has a nice ring to it. Here's your payment. Know that you have my gratitude. If you wish to assist us, there's more that can be done. Interesting. He gave me 5,000 gold. What else does he want me to do? Felvin is desperately in need of new equipment. Why don't you have a chat with him? All right. What's up? Dover said to talk to me? Oh. Oh, these are so meek. Dover said to talk to me? Um, if he thinks I should get some new stuff, maybe I should. I know that Elenade has some nice equipment. I like that robe of hers, and one time I saw an axe she has. Looks really pretty. Hmm. Dover says she doesn't deserve them, and that they're better for her. They'd be better for her and me than her. Dover's always right. Where is she? In God's reach. Okay, well. It's not super helpful. Well, if I come across her, I guess I'll murder her. I should clear the bounty. I have so much money. I can just do anything with very little consequences. But I'm not going to save. Just actually, I should go find a guard just in case. I want to make sure nothing gets too screwed up. I don't want to do too many quests and then have to go undo them because, yeah, because the guards. Hello. 20 stolen goods. The gold and finds and compensation, but what did I steal? This was supposed to be murder. Okay, well. I got paid for- I got paid more money than it cost me. To- Alright, sure. As a thief and an adventurer, I don't have many scruples, so whatever. It is fine. I will not complain. Everyone has a quest. This is amazing. Most people in the regular game are just like, I'm just here for flavor. All of these people have something for me to do. Deldry Sandarin. Don't know what you're doing casually walking into my home like this. Thankfully, someone finally questioned that. But since you're here, you haven't happened to see my husband. He recently developed the bad habit of heading out late, not returning until the morning. I'm worried he's cheating on me. You think you could find him and follow him? Absolutely. Maybe you can find out what he's doing. Found Sometimes found hanging in front of the winged guard during Vivek knows what. Head there and tail him, but don't get too close. Okay. What's his name? You should probably tell me his name. His name. Deldry's Andarin. What's going on? Before I do that, I'm going to rob your house. And then I'm going to find your husband. Okay. Well, there he must be. I've located Terran under and sneaking around God's Reach. I'm attempting to follow him and see where he's going. Okay. I'm supposed to stay out of sight, so I'm going to follow him from, like, way back here. Hello. I'm not sneaking. Nope, don't mind me. I love that he's sneaking around the middle of the town square, just, like... Just sneaking. He's not, like... He could be casually strolling around. Sneaking is for thieves. He could just be casually strolling. My journal has been updated. I followed him through God's Reach. He met with a strange woman and talked to her. I heard laughing and sounds like they were agreeing to meet later. I didn't see a strange woman. I should probably report to his... Was this the strange woman? Did they talk from that far away? Oh, crap. Why were you following Turn around? I saw you. You're sent by his wife. Oh my god, they're attacking me. Oh no, no, no. I was just trying to see if it was the strange woman. Wait, let me report back to her. <laughs> I should have just talked. I should have just talked to her. I should have just talked to her. Oh no, I can't get up here. My acrobatics isn't high enough. Oh no, I'm getting attacked a lot. Hello, I saw your husband. That scrub-sucking cheat, thanks for following me, I wish you could have- I only wish you could have taken care of that brand, brazen hussy. I'll deal with him myself. My journal's been updated. Well... I guess, now that I got my reward... Now I can murder them? I would have preferred not to. Although they stopped following me around, so maybe I'm fine. Maybe I'm fine. Those people just appeared when this quest happened, so maybe they disappeared when the quest ended. Well, that was funny. All right. That was a good one. I like it. I like it. I'm here in Lethen Manor. 
If you're here to offer your respects, speak to Ravani Lethen, the king's widow. So, King Lethen is dead? King Lethen's death, I use suspiciously. He was an old man, and now hells that this king, long live the king. Oh, she looks so happy about long live the king. Let me just bribe you a little bit and see what you have to say about that now. All right, I'll tell you what I think. He was old, but not that old. Maybe he just died like this, Ed, but maybe someone helped him along. There's a broadside sheet called the Common Tongue. In there, it says Helseth poisoned hundreds of people when he was in the West, so why not here? Interesting. All right. If there's anything I can do, someone told me, really reading a broadside sheet called the Common Tongue, I should report this to Tynus, De De this guy. Okay, I might... Wait, who is he? Helseth's captain of the guards. Okay, I, I, I've been... I talked to him once before, but I'll have to go talk to him again. And I need to talk to Lethen's widow, of course. Ravani, leave me alone with my grief. Let's persuade you to chat. They murdered him! Helseth and his spiders, everybody knows, and no one lifts a finger. Imperial justice. Ha! <laughs> I spit on Imperial Justice. They killed my husband and now that wicked man is king. I curse health and all his kin. May they die tomorrow weeping watching their children die today. How does she know? Everyone knows. It's there in print for everyone to see in the broadside sheet called the Common Tongue. It says Helseth poisoned hundreds of people when he was in the West. He was a wicked murderer before. Hmm. Offer condolences. Bless your honorable soul, few enough have come to pay their respects. People forget their friends when the winds change. Okay. Vow to avenge his death. Bless you, may fortune smile upon your blade. Alright. I'm sorry if he was murdered, that's terrible. It seems like he certainly was, but you never know with the media these days, you know? So now that I know your husband's dead, so there's not probably going to be nobody upstairs, I say as I find someone upstairs. Who are you? You're just a person. Okay. I'm just here to rob the widow's house. Heal me into the widow's personal bedroom r real quick. I'm just going to rob rob her of her dead husband's possessions. That's fine, right? You don't mind? Great. Thanks. Well, that's all for God's Reach. I went in all the buildings. I talked to all the people. I got a couple long-term quests, and I did the short-term quests. So let me head back to Plaza Brindisi Dorum and go to the next... Uh, the next spoke, or the next thing to do here. Like this naked man. Hello, naked man. For swag the sweltering? What are you looking at? No, I'm not paralyzed. I've never even met a witch. Much less been asked to escort one anywhere. Why am I naked? Because it's too damn hot here. People think every time you see a Nord barbar naked Nord barbarian has been tricked by some witch. So narrow-minded. Now leave me alone. Oh. I told you I don't need any help. Just trying to cool off a bit. I've never even seen a witch. You people and your stereotypes. Alright, if you say so, naked dude. So the layout of this plaza is there's three spokes. God's Reach, Palace Courtyard, and the Great Bazaar. And then here is the Mournhold Gates. Which cannot be opened. I was hoping they would, but I know this is sort of its own isolated place that doesn't exist in this world. There's no overworld, so, so that's fine. So I have some um, palace business to attend to because I'm supposed to talk to this guy about the that thing um, and figure out what's going on with these people. And I think they had some quests for me. The royal, the royal people, if I remember correctly. I have some things to look at in the bazaar. So I've got some things left to do here. Um, but I, I think I've finally explored everything so that's a start now I'm looking for the tight Tinus is in the throne room so I'm gonna head back to the throne room if I can remember where it is and um, and we'll see what he has to say about that when I said I had explored everything I I was wrong I forgot about the temple courtyard which is unbelievably cool so now I get to walk around here and see what there is to do Hey, Gaynor! Before you take another step, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gaynor, and I'm an entrepreneur of sorts. I was wondering if you could do ask a small favor of you. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I love doing favors. <clears throat> As you may have noticed, I'm not looking my best at the moment. 
a little as, shall we say, down on my luck. Which is not something I'm used to, let me tell you. At any rate, I'm looking for a little starting capital to get things rolling. Recently arrived, I thought you'd be able to help me out. Think you could part with 50 gold? Sure. Okay. You look friendly enough. You got a cool voice. Splendid! I really do appreciate it. And I must say, you're quite a generous soul. In fact, as long as we're talking and getting along so well, do you think you could spot me another hundred? I'm sure I could pay you back in a few days' time. I've always had excellent luck. Sure. You really are something. I think we get along famously. Okay, I'll be up front with you. If I could just have another thousand gold or so, I can really make it here. I know it. You've been so good to me, and it's clear you got the money. Sure. You've no idea what this means. I've never held as much gold in my life. Well, heck, you got money to burn, so do you? Bet you could spare another ten thousand gold. Come on. Let me have it. Sure. Now he wants a million- he wants a million gold. Okay, no, I can't give you a million gold. Wow, that was very strange. Well, that's- I have so much gold, I don't need it. But, that was really strange. Okay, Gator. And now he won't speak to me. You have a lot of gold. You stupid idiot. Go get yourself some go go buy yourself some stuff. Goval Rallin. God, can you believe this place? It's amazing. Everything's so beautiful. The buildings, the shops, the women. Link, I'm blown away. The women, of course. Seen pretty women before, but I can't get over it. My small came from a small town to seek my fortune, as my father would say, but it's hard to get anything done here. It's just overwhelming. I guess a little intimidating, too. I mean, what would any of these women want with me? If it's hard to meet the woman of my dreams, would you happen to know anyone? I don't. That's okay. It's worth it to be able to confide in someone. Okay, well, I need to find out if he's got anyone in mind, you know, etc. No. No. Alright, well, maybe I'll meet a woman who's looking for a man, and I'll have to direct her to him. Isn't it great? It is great. I don't mean to attack you. I'm sorry. Other than walking around, there wasn't anyone to talk to really on the outside of this area. The temples are the one temple is the one who asked me to kill the goblin army. So that I still need to handle. Uh that's gonna be tough, but what are you walking so fast for? I guess I've talked to you already. Um the goblin army is gonna be tough. They're very strong. Um I could hire this guy. I'm going to totally do that whenever I go down there. But right now I need to go to the palace and talk to the guy about the thing. Hello, TNS Captain of the Guards. Temple Informant. Oh, I'm supposed to look for a Temple Informant. Oh, and I guess he already knows about the thing. So that's... Right? It told me to talk to him, but I've already told him about the broadside sheet, so he's not really interested. That's fine. That's fine. He wants me to get an informant in the temple. I'm not ready to do that yet. I don't know who I want to... I don't trust you at all. So I would rather take the side of the temple. And the temple is asking me to kill the goblins. So I think I should probably kill the goblins, shouldn't I? 